Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now it's finally here, a budget 1080p projector on this channel. So this is the V10 1080p projector from Yeber. And as you can see, it is in fact 1080p native resolution. And it comes with four point keystone correction, which comes in handy for odd shaped rooms. And you get the ability to screen mirror and mirror cast your portable devices. And it's capable of reading multiple file formats. And it's light and portable coming with a case. So without further ado, let's take a look in the box. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Now as you can see it comes in this nice sturdy bag, which is well padded and I'd happily walk around with this case, and not worry about the projector getting damaged. Ok, straight to business, we've got the projector, we've got a manual, and we've got some power leads here. And in the side sleeve, we get a lens cleaning cloth and wipes and a screwdriver. Now these straps are very reassuring, the projector is nicely tucked in, it's not going to come out. Ok, first up is the manual, and guys it's definitely worth looking at this, just to make sure you're using the projector correctly. And it comes with colour pictures, so it's easy on the eyes. We get a 3 pin power cord, and one HDMI cable, and some auxiliary cables. Now the projector itself is pretty light for what it is, but it's got a great build quality and it's got some cool design features. So on the top you can see the main navigation buttons and a focus wheel, which we'll get to later. And on the front we've got the main lens and we've got the Yeber branding in chrome effect. And next to that we've got a fake air intake. On the bottom we've got some solid metal stands with rubber feet attached to them. Now as I mentioned there is that fake air intake, which I personally think looks pretty cool. It helps to balance out the front and that lens is huge and it looks good quality. And you can see those coloured image coatings, which help with image quality. And going back to the top, we can see the focus wheel, which does feel solid when you're turning it. It's got the right amount of resistance to it, which helps to focus the image accurately on the screen. And also on the top, we've got our menu navigation buttons, and if I turn it around, we can see them properly. And here we've got our power, back, OK, arrow keys, and a source and a menu button. Around the sides, we've got our grills or air intake, which you can just about see here if I turn it up and you've got the same intakes on the other side, which helps keep the unit cool while operating. And on the back we've got our power plug input, and an on off switch which glows red by the way. We've also got our IR input for our remote control, two USB ports, an AV input, two HDMI ports, a headphone socket, and a VGA input. So that's it for the back, and I'll take you in for a closer look. Now the projector also comes with a very functional remote control. You've got your media fast forward and rewind, you've got a mute button, a volume up and down button, and you've got a home button which will take you back to the home screen, a back button which will get you out of menus, a quick pop-up menu button, and a d-pad, and an ok button which acts as a play and a pause button. You've got a button for flipping the projection if you're putting the projector up on the ceiling, and you've got a button to cycle through the inputs on the projector, and finally a power button. And the remote takes AAA batteries. So next I'm going to set up the projector and show you what the image quality is like. Now I've connected an Amazon Fire Stick to one of the HDMI ports on the projector and I'm powering the Fire Stick via the USB port on that projector. So all that remains to be done is power on the projector from the back and then just press down on the power button on the top of the projector. And straight away you can see those menu buttons on the projector light up. Now it's details like these you normally find on more expensive projectors. Now I've set this projector up in one of my spare bedrooms and I've just drawn the curtains but the light's still pouring through. But even so the projector's still producing a really bright picture. And of course the first thing I need to do is straighten up the picture on the wall using the inbuilt keystone. So all you do is pop into the menu and select the four point keystone option. And basically just straighten up the picture by using the four corners. And you can use a gridded on screen picture to help you square up the screen. And it took me about two minutes to get it to my liking. After I finish this keystone setup I'll show you some sample videos. And you'll see just how good this projector is for its price point. Ok, as you can see I've got the screen more or less straightened up, and just to give you an idea of the screen size, this is me next to the screen, and the projector is about 7 foot from the wall. Now even in the menu system you can see the 1080p resolution of this projector shining through, and like I said this is not even a dark room, and the projector is really bright. Ok, so this is a YouTube video at 1080p 60Hz, and the projector is around 7 foot away from the wall. Now you can hear the fan on the projector, but it's relatively quiet, and because the speakers are very good on this projector, you can't hear it really. If you 
click on the menu button on your remote, you'll get the following settings screen. You've got picture settings, sound settings and advanced settings. And as you'll see as I go through the menus, there's a multitude of ways you can set your screen up. I was actually surprised at how advanced the picture settings were. You can change the brightness, sharpness, saturation, hue. You can change the display mode from 16x9 to 4x3. And advanced settings give you even more choice. With things like color temperature, ANR setting, dynamic contrast control, flesh tones. And you can turn on the blue extend option. And you can also turn on the overscan if you need it. And the cool thing is there's even a game mode, which I'll show you now. There's also a PC mode. And finally a restore setting. Now going back to the top menu, we've got the sand settings and we've got sand mode and advanced audio. So under sand modes, we can change the sand mode to movies, sports and so on. And you can even change the individual frequencies. Now the advanced sand option gives us access to balance, AVC and restore option. Now back up onto the top TV setting menu and the advanced setting gives us access to OSD, display duration and finally restore all settings to defaults. Now a quick look at the menu system and along the side you can see we've got our inputs and we can select AV, VGA, HDMI 1 which I've got the Amazon Fire Stick connected to and HDMI 2. Some of the cool features of this projector include iOS Cast which lets you cast your iPhone or iPad to the projector wirelessly. Just follow the on-screen instructions. Or if you've got an Android phone or tablet, you can use the Miracast option to wirelessly cast it to the projector. Now below those casting options, we've got the four subcategories of video, music, picture and office suite. Now if you plug in a USB drive with any of these files into the projector, they will show up under each of these respective categories. Now a quick look at the menus up top. If you click on the cogwheel, you'll get the main settings menu. And the first menu item is the Wi-Fi settings. Here you can connect your projector to your Wi-Fi network. And you can check your network state. Next along is the Bluetooth menu. And this is where you can connect your headphones or your soundbar. And along from that we've got the Keystone correction which I showed you how to use earlier. Options here are Digital Zoom, Horizontal Zoom, Vertical Zoom and 4 Point Keystone correction. Which I used. We've also got a projection mode which is useful if you're putting the projector up on your ceiling. As it will reverse the projected picture. There's an upgrade option to upgrade the system with a USB or SD card. Now in other settings, you can look at the system information, which is actually quite interesting. It's telling us we've got a GPU and a CPU with 1 gig of memory and 8 gig of hard drive. Back up the menu and we get boot settings and restore to factory defaults. And the last remaining items on the menu are language and date. So is the Yeba V10 projector worth your money? Well, if you don't know my answer by now, the answer is yes. I'm a big fan at this price point. The features you get are amazing. It's easy to configure and use, and it's bright indoors and outdoors. Now in the dark, you'll be surprised at how bright it is. The 1080p picture quality is one of the best I've seen, and the keystone correction makes it easy and simple to set up the flat screen. The sound is nice and loud and crisp, and easily hides any fan noise. Now if you are interested in buying one, Yeba is giving me a discount code, and I'll put it in the description below. Just go to their website and put it in and you'll get a discounted price. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, give us a like and please do consider subscribing for more great content.